Ladies and gentlemen, please, Carmen Yulín Cruz. My task, first and foremost, good evening to all of you. Buenas noches. El nombre mío es José Mazo. Y esta noche tengo la buena dicha. I have the pleasure of trying to summarize briefly what we just heard, but more so open it up so we can have a few minutes of dialogue with our distinguished guests. And let me try to put context as to what I'm going to say. Because the love and the respect that we heard from Yuling is one that I think resonates with each and every one of us. Reverend Walton, we are in a church house of worship, and there's no doubt that the Spirit is with us in the words of Yuling. And as she said, regardless of who we see as being that power, and what name we give that power, that power is with us tonight. So, Yuling, yo nací el día 5 de agosto, 1950. I was born August 5th, 1950. I'm 68 years old. You look good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is that at 68, some people have heard me say this, I come to realize every day that I've got more past than future, more yesterdays than tomorrow. And so thus, I embrace every single minute wholeheartedly that I breathe. And I say this to try to give context to your words because I am blessed. You know, every morning when I wake up, I start my day, and my wife, my beautiful wife, Divina, from Ponce, Puerto Rico, starts my day con un beso con sabor a café. <laughs> she starts my day with a kiss with a taste of coffee because she goes downstairs while I'm sleeping, percolates our coffee, she brews it, and she comes up, gives me a cup of coffee, and of course she's giving me the first kiss and it tastes like coffee. So right there at that moment is when I begin my blessings, and I share this in context because it's at that moment that I start my meditation and prayers. And in my meditation and prayers, I ask that whatever I say, whatever I do, whatever I think, whatever I feel, be in sync. Whatever I say, whatever I do, whatever I think, whatever I do, be in sync. And then I ask, as I did this morning, may I have an opportunity throughout the day to be in the presence of other men and women who have values that say that we're going to leave this country, this world, a better place than when we were born. And may I be blessed to be with men and women whose values are about the future so that our children can be healthy. Not just physically healthy, but mentally, emotionally, socially, culturally, intellectually, financially, spiritually healthy, holistically healthy. And then I conclude my meditation and prayers by asking that whatever happiness I receive in my day not be as a consequence of someone else's misery. So I share this because those of us in the diaspora who are Puerto Ricans, as we observed the devastation of Hurricane Maria, were looking for light in that darkness. And we were not receiving light, not from electricity, but for those in power, those who were in a position to make something happen. It was darkness until one voice was heard. And there's a saying, si la voz de una persona puede unir a un pueblo, un pueblo unido puede cambiar el mundo. If the voice of one person can unite a people, a united people could change the world. And that voice, that light that we finally saw and heard was right here. And what that voice said at that moment when she stood 
and spoke truth to power is, respeta mi gente, respect my people. Respect my people. But tonight what we have heard is that that voice came from a place of love for all of us. And that that unity was not just a cry of unity for Puerto Ricans in the diaspora, it was for all of human beings who care. And that is why we have been able to every single day, one way or another, in small and big ways, contribute to the recreation of what Puerto Rico will be in the future. Because one voice stood up out of respect for her compatriots and human beings and did so out of love. And so what I have heard tonight, and I hope you heard it as well, is that if we move forward with a guiding light of love, if we move forward with a guiding light of respect, we will change the world and that our voices cannot be silent. And on November 6th, let's make our voice loud. So, I have a microphone right here in front. We have a few minutes. I'm gonna ask if anyone has a question for Yulene, for the Honorable Mayor of San Juan, please come up to the microphone. Don't be shy at this moment. We have two questions, that's it. So who's gonna be the first? Walking straight to the microphone. Bodacious, just like, yes, 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 I love it. And accompanied, yes. and accompanied, I love it. Identify yourself, please. Hi, my name is Adebola Yakubu Obolowa. I graduated from Harvard College in 2005 and Harvard Medical School in 2013. Thank you for being here, it's a pleasure. Um, thank you. I, I tend to procrastinate, but when I saw that you were giving this lecture, it was the first thing I did, um, so thank you very much. Um, thank you for being on NPR, I listen to you at 10 p.m. most nights. And um, so my <laughs> question you. for you is, uh, not to be too political, but uh, 2020 is coming around. Have you thought about being running for president and maybe uh, be your first volunteer? Yeah. Maybe? Start it right now. Es una pregunta. Can we hear her? Is she on? Is her microphone on? It's not on? It's there not. it is. Okay. All right. So you. the question was, will she consider running in 2020? She is a U.S. citizen. Just in case you didn't know that, Puerto Ricans are. But uh, I was born in a territory. And even though you are a citizen, if you're born in a territory, you're not allowed to run for the highest office in the United States. But I, I thank you for those words. But I, I wouldn't want that job. Mm. And I'll tell you why. I, sometimes the higher you go in office, the more distant you are from the people. I think being a mayor gives you an appropriate amount of connectiveness, um, if that's a word, um, but still allows you to touch people and to be around people. I don't know what I'm going to do in 2020. I've, I've self-imposed a two-term limit which ends December 31st. I don't drink, but I'm pretty sure that night I will have a drink. <laughs> so I, I don't know. It, it truly depends on where I will be of most service to the people of Puerto Rico and to those that are disenfranchised and to women and to Latinos and to immigrants who are searching for a better uh, way of life and to children that need to be educated and children with uh, functional diversities that need to be heard and need to be seen and for reaching out and getting more uh, greener and cleaner power so that we break our addiction to fossil fuel energy um, and that's a tall order right all of those things mm -hmm. so so wherever I'm at it would be in a place where I could surf the most. 
I don't know where that place still is, but but I do think there there is a need for Latinos to come together and for women to come together of all races and all creeds. And, and, and I think we, we ought to spend some time. I, I said something not very smart the other day. I said we have to spend some more time thinking about how to make people. And then I corrected myself and said, we know how to make them. <laughs> it, it's just how, how do we ensure that people come and this generation has that chip within themselves that it's not it's okay to make money as long as you make it in the appropriate way it's okay to move forward as long as you have a sense of social responsibility it's okay to be tired but it's not okay to give up and somehow this discourse that we are seeing in the past coincidentally January 20th, 2017, um, it, it just is divisive. So we need to stop that. And I do think, however, that there need to be a lot more of us and us, I mean, people that have something to say. Because this cannot be something about Latinos against Anglo or or um, you know, colored against white. No, if we do that, we would be no better than those that want to put us down. But thank you very much for that. I do have, they sell them at Amazon. Carmen Dulin for president, nasty for the people. <laughs> <laughs> T-shirts, so I bought two from different companies just to have them as a souvenir. All right, all right. <laughs> One more question. Identify yourself, please. Good evening. Uh, good evening. My name is Drake Evan Johnson. Uh, first and foremost, thank you to everybody for being here and then also putting this amazing event on. Um, and although you don't want to run for president, there may be some of us here that do. So my question is just, how do you keep that connection and just make sure you don't lose that, that connection with the people as you, you go up in power? And you mentioned that as you get higher in office, it's much harder to keep that. So how do you stay away from that from going down that route of disconnection and, and disillusionment? Well, for, first, I think it's, it, it's got a lot to do with how you feel about things and how you feel about coworkers. Notice people that have seen me for today, I don't say that Gloriana and Jesus work for me, they work with me, and we all work together. I don't go to City Hall. Um, I have an office at City Hall, it's beautiful, but I don't go there. I have a trailer in a park. So I'm a trailer park mayor. Um, and, and I actually, we have a common office where we all share the same space. I, I'm very adamant about doing my own, wash my own clothes. The last thing that I did before I went to vote was put a load in the washer. And the first thing that I did when I came back is put a load in the dryer. Um, I, I, I do my own food shopping. I try to drive, but they tell me that for other people's lives' sakes, I shouldn't. <laughs> now, you look, at, look at her, she goes, no, 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 no. Uh, but, but also, you have to work at it. You have to make sure that you listen. Listening is a lot more difficult than you think, because when you run for office, you have to have a, a, a healthy ego. You have to think that what you say people will listen to. We were talking this afternoon, people will let you lead them if you follow them. So my perspective in power of power is that the power is amongst the people. Uh, probably there's one, two, three, any, any other elected officials here, no matter where? One, two, three, four, five, five, six of us, and the rest of you. So I, I often, if, when people say, Mayor, Thank you for building a park. I say, you don't have to thank me, thank yourselves. Because it is with your tax money that this is done. And also teaching people that government is not there to follow their agenda. It's the people's agenda. So it doesn't matter who runs for what. 
as long as their agenda reflects your agenda. But I really work very hard at making sure I understand that I wasn't a mayor two years ago, I mean uh, six years ago. I will not be a mayor for two years. So I, I have to stay connected because every day matters. Every day we have to do public service like somebody's life is on the line because somebody's life is on the line. But look, this is not to tell you that there are not days that I say, oh, I've had it. This is too much. You have to do, you know, um, listen to too much noise in order to push something forward. And on days like that, I just stay at home, uh, watch Vampire Diaries, <laughs> eat haagen ice cream, and just, uh, there is peace in silence. Mm. Try to find that peace in silence. I'm not very good at finding peace in silence. I often fail. But then I walk around the city and I, somebody says, Mayor, remember me? No. Well, I'm that um, homeless person that you helped a year ago. Now I have a home and I've gained 30 pounds. And, you know, I feel good about myself because of you. And then I know my life is worth something. Mm. I measure my life by the good that I have done unto others. I measure my life by the effort I have put on helping others find their way. If I can lie down every night and answer yes to the question, have you done everything you could? Have you treated everybody with respect? Have you seen everyone? Then I feel, okay. When the answer to that is no, I think about what I can do the next day to see people. Anybody here seen the movie Avatar? Mm -hmm. Remember when, they, when she says, I see you, I see you. It isn't that I see you, it's that I see you. So, so there's a difference. You know, when, when we look at this young lady next to me, we have to see a young lady. We can't just see her faith. When you look at a Jewish person, you can't just see the, I forget the name in English. Yeah. No. You have to see them. When you see a Christian, you can't just see their faith, you have to see them. And so often do we look at each other and make values out of judgments that have nothing to do with who the person is. I am a very strong-headed and stubborn person. Mm. I am very strong-willed. I do not stand for discrimination or laziness. So I will call you very harshly if you're not doing your part. But as long as you're doing all that you can, it doesn't matter if you don't reach your goal, then it's up to us to pick up the slack. Thank you. Thank you. So, one more question? I we think we don't have time for another question. Or, or so. do we want to go watch the Red Sox get one <laughs> game closer to becoming we still, champions? <laughs> We still have a little bit more to go. You have a question? You, a yes. picture. Wow, okay. I think you can do what I want. I'm talking very quickly because I want to introduce um, some musicians and performers. So as we do this, we do this. <laughs> That's all right. She dressed up like me in Halloween. I don't know. All right. I'm, I'm not sure that's a compliment, yeah. but you know. Yeah. Yeah. I like the way Como cambia el tiempo, ¿viste? Uh, two things. One, 
Thanks to that gentleman for asking that question, a young man, because that is one of the reasons I sleep well at night, because I know that the future is in good hands because of all the uh, young men and women who will be the solution to the challenges that we are facing today, because this is definitely your moment in time. So I sleep well at night. But I also sleep well at night because I was born in old San Juan, in Vallejan, in Hospital Rodriguez. You go. Yeah, maybe old San Juan. And so I sleep well at night because I know my dear city is in good hands because of Yulin. Please give it another big round of applause. So, a few more minutes of your time. I'm going to ask you to join me as we welcome two very special performers, Iraq Arroyo, Eli Lady Pavon, founding members of a group that's critically acclaimed, the independent hip hop group Foundation Movement. Iraq is an educator, artist, activist, healer, and a proud father of three. Currently the director of cultural organizing at United for a Fair Economy. Lady Pavon, some call her Ellie, is a multi-talented dancer, singer, lyricist, instructor, educator, and percussionist. Born and raised here in Boston to a Puerto Rican family of performers and educators. She grew up learning the importance of music and dance in health, education, healing, resistance, and community, community building. And at present, she is the founder of Bombantiana and an artist collective member of Meta Movements, coordinating, hosting, and teaching Latin dance at events, classes, and workshops. Together, they project their values and experiences as U.S. born Boricuas, Iraq and Lady will use spoken word, song, poetry, lyrics, and percussion to tell stories and inspire us to continue asking questions, discover truths, and use our collective power to make change. Please welcome Iraq and Lady. Peace. Peace, y'all. I see you. Peace, everyone. Can I offer that we, uh, will you take a deep breath with me? Um, I'm going to say, take the time, and you'll, you'll inhale. And I'll say, every day, and you'll hold it. And then I'm going to say, to come home to yourself. And then we'll release it collectively. And if you want to release it with a sound, I encourage that. All right? So it's going to be, take the time, every day, to come home to yourself. Let's do that two more times. Take the time every day to come home to yourself. Take the time every day to come home to yourself. I needed that, so I figured I'd bring y'all with me on that ride. In 1976, my mother and father, Felix Arroyo and Elsa Montano, teachers in Puerto Rico, in San Juan, Puerto Rico, who, with origins from Arecibo and Bayamón, applied to the Harvard School of Education uh, because Don Pedro Albizu Campos went to Harvard. <laughs> and they got in, and they came here. And we joined now about five million Boricuas who are in the diaspora. I want to shout the diaspora out. And those of us in the Northeast had to learn how to plant palm tree roots in a frozen tundra. Yeah? <laughs> so when we were out here during uh, the storm, I'll, I'll go to I statements, but I do appreciate the we. Uh, when I was out here during the storm, and my family's in Puerto Rico, only mommy and papi came. And we were here and everyone else in Puerto Rico, and you were a beacon of light for many of us. And your fortitude and courage, uh, I see you. And I just want to be very clear, shout out to my brother Optimus and my nephew Sawazi. I want to be very clear, I want to name it. Colonization. Yeah, let's applaud colonization, but no, for real. Colonization, white supremacy, patriarchy, and greedy capitalism, which is redundant has been coming for our island and ravaging people. And we just want to be very clear. We're going to name it. We're going to claim it. Yeah. And thank you for naming the colonization. 
That was crucial. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't. We got to start there. Lady. Oh, I get to practice Maraca today. <laughs> um, we want to also honor, always honor our ancestors, wherever we are. And so we're going to do that here tonight. And, and we're here, you know, performing, but you're all part of this. And so we would want you, to, we want you to join us. There is something called bomba de Puerto Rico. And bomba is not done by one person, it's done in community. That's where it came from. And so, ah, see, man, you're so right. So right. Right? <laughs> este, bueno. So I would like for you to repeat after me. And you're going to be part of this performance, yes? In the tradition of call and response, y'all. I'm going to... Me, 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 me. Hello. go. Cuídame a Belén. Cuídame a Belén, mamá. Can you wait for a second? Come. Ready? Mama, cuídame a Belén, cuídame a Belén, mamá. Repícame la bomba, repícame los cuá. Mama, cuídame a Belén, cuídame a Belén, mamá. Ay, dale, vale, bomba, hasta la madrugada. Mamá, cuídame a Belén, cuídame a Belén, mamá. Ay, dale, dale, golpe hasta la madruga. Mamá, cuídame a Belén, cuídame a Belén, mamá. The sounds you hear are of bomba, created by our ancestors. The natives of Puerto Rico, los Taínos, those who sailed there from Spain, and those who were taken from Africa. It's a, you know, a cult cross-cultural language, you see, for survival, resistance, celebration, resistance, resistance, resistance. And it continues to be a tool. I'm brown. Even though we come in all colors, from the bricks to the suburbs, I'm a rep for my brothers. And all praises due to the women holding us down from the beginning. I'm brown, that's how I'm living. Proud, that's the feeling I get, cause I'm Latino from the bean to Puerto Rico. Clemente to Albizu, I'm a rep for my people in the belly of evil. See, organized, that's the game plan. From islands to mainland, we repping the same clan. Got roots from the same man. Taino, Spaniard, and African. I'm brown, and we all young lords. From pun to the floor, lords. Four door Honda records drop to the floor. But we so much more. Mm. No one as proud as us. Look how rowdy we get. At the festival each year, lively as shh. <laughs> like, que bonita bandera. Rockin' a guayadera, ciento por ciento boricua, se lo digo a cualquiera, marina pa' afuera, cause this is our era, shining star from PR, trap far, but we are beautiful people, see mm -hmm. I'm brown from Arecibo, I'ma rep that every day, rep that in every way, I pray for a better day, that's why I say I'm brown, and I feel it in my soul, we gotta let them know, too many locked by these cops, rise up Porter Rocks and pump your fist if you feeling that. Then hit him hard with the left like Tito Trinidad. From the Bronx to Chi-Town, D.C. to Bean Town, we repping the scene now and here from the inception. See, in my veins flows the salsa of Willie Colón. From San Juan to Bayamón, I dedicate this canción to revolutionaries like Lolita Lebron. In the 80s and still strong, despierta boricuas. We've been a colony for too long. No longer using Vieques to drop bombs, but we stay stressed. We want the Pentagon gone, but clean up your mess like our basketball team did to the U.S. <laughs> See, I'm brown like the skin on the conga playing the beat. Said, I'm brown like the skin on the bomb I'm playing the beat. Mama, 
cuídame a Belén, cuídame a Belén, mamá. Mamá, cuídame a Belén, cuídame a Belén, mamá. Mamá, cuídame a Belén, cuídame a Belén, mamá. Said I'm brown like the skin on a conga playing the beat. And I'm hot like PR during the summer heat. Cool down with a culabra. Woo. Cool down with a piragua from Ponce de Cagua, Culebra to Naranjito. I'm brown like Tito. Puente, rep hard para mi gente. Caliente like mommy's cooking. Rice and beans, you can smell it in the streets of Brooklyn. Pastelillos, alcapurjas y bacalao. Look at us now, somehow we still hustling On the corner struggling The system wanna keep us locked down Los Yankees getting fuego Just ask Roy Brown I'm brown And on the corner playing dominoes Snacking on platanos Trust me, I'm brown and I'm not afraid to show it I'm a genius and a hero poet Said I'm brown, I'm that if I ain't nothing else I'm brown, I'm beautiful, I love myself Identities, complexities, the more we dig deeper, the more we know, the less we know, and I yearn for more as a seeker. I look to universe, search for answers, understanding that history repeats itself with a new cast now demanding. With this promesa, Bill is bait, not everyone sees the evil affecting the beautiful land of my blood. It's just another sequel to the colonization destroying the nation, the island of Puerto Rico. Original name Borican, given by its native people. The Tainos welcome the Spanish who intended to settle and take, bringing the Bantu people of African lands to cultivate, forcing them into labor, beating them down to create a system of oppression, generations of self-hate. Imagine travel without your consent in ships piled like sardines, with death filling the air, sent and nobody intervenes. Imagine not being able to sing your song anytime you want to, told traditions and rituals only allowed by those who enslaved you. Imagine your land taken, to destroyed beyond repair and you're forced to exploit it for them and or die in total despair and during the pain you find a way to hold on to your humanity communicate with others dealing with the same brutality you speak not through tongue but drums made from mother earth made to resemble the ones made on the land where you were birthed with sticks hitting a piece of wood is patterns for the rhythm baraka shaking up dancer making melodic synchronism and now at present we feel their presence as hidden stories are told Making connections, pondering questions. Are we still being sold? Looks different than them, but it's still the same thing. Our land is being stolen. Calling it paying off debt, yet increasing what's already swollen. The debt owed to the U.S. alone if, <clears throat> could save so many lives. And decrease the amount of job loss happening before our eyes. The greed of the rich gave away what began to delay some inequalities that made their way into our DNA, causing so many fatalities. Mamá, cuídame a Belén, cuídame a Belén, mamá. Repícame la bomba, repícame los cuá. Mamá, cuídame a Belén, cuídame a Belén, mamá. Ay, dale, dale, bomba, hasta la madruga. Mamá, cuídame a Belén. Cuídame a Belén, mamá. Ay, dale, dale, bomba, hasta la madruga. Mamá, cuídame a Belén, cuídame a Belén, mamá. Can, as I walk off, can y'all just say after me, decolonize? Decolonize, decolonize. Decolonize, decolonize. Thank you.
join me in thanking both of them again for their wonderful performance. And thank you, Mayor Cruz, for your inspiring remarks. Good evening, my name is Danielle Goatley, and I have the privilege of serving as the Phillips Brooks House Association's alumni president. Hi everyone, my name is Connie, and I'm a sophomore at Harvard, and I serve as the PBHA alumni and history coordinator. I would like to take a moment to thank Reverend Walton and our hosts here at the Memorial Church in the Harvard Events Office, so thank you. I would also like to thank Mike Leonard and Maria, who helped plan this event, so thank you so much. And finally, I'd like to highlight the rest of the Alumni Weekend events outlined in your program. Tomorrow at the Alumni Luncheon, we will be honoring Massachusetts Representative Byron Rushing, PBHA Class of 1964, as this year's outstanding alumnus. And we'd also like to honor the Harvard Square Homeless Shelter Corporation as this year's outstanding supporter. Following the luncheon, we'll be celebrating the 35th anniversary of two of our amazing programs, Key Latch and the Harvard Square Homeless Shelter. And so we welcome all of you alumni and friends to join us in the Via Victoria for Key Latch or at the University Lutheran Church for HSHS tomorrow afternoon. Thank you. We are also excited to have one additional honoree this year who will receive PBHA's inaugural Author and Artist in Justice Award at tomorrow's luncheon. Jose Olivares, PBHA class of 2010, an alum of Keylatch and the Student Labor Action Movement, is a Chicago-based author, educator, podcast host, and poet. We look forward to honoring him fully tomorrow, but we are lucky to have him here tonight to close out the evening with a special performance. Please join me in welcoming Jose to the stage. A little bit higher. Right, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Jose Olivares. Um, I'm very excited to be here. Uh, real quick, I want to take the time to thank. Uh, not just the organizers of this event, but also everybody who helps maintain the space. My mom is a janitor, so, uh, you know, I remember being a student here that it takes a lot of work to make this place. Yeah, give it up for them. Thank you, of course, to all the students, all the organizers, everybody that has made this event happen. Um, in the spirit of what we heard tonight, I thought I would end with this poem. It's called Hentification. Uh, hentification is a word that I first heard uh, when I was at a late night establishment with uh, one of my friends, Nate Marshall, who's also a poet. Uh, and we were having some adult beverages and he was like, he was like, yo, Jose, we're hentifying this bar right now. And I was like, what? I thought it was, I was like, yo, we got to hentify everywhere. Hentification is dope. So anyway, uh, this poem is called Hentification. I plant a grain of sand in the new organic juice spot in El Barrio. Soon donkeys poop big stinky poops on carrot containers. Our tios y tias smoking cigarettes and taking up all the plugs. The grain of sand grows into a cactus and mi abuelita Jacinta is back with the living. She's kicking the juicers out of her kitchen and making masa. The whole block heard what's happening and outside the hydrants open and flood the streets. The bad news is the property value is going down again. The good news is my boy Nate is teaching poetry workshops in the shade. Gwendolyn Brooks smelled the tamales and came down to write. Rejoice in the good news. My dad comes through with the cooler of beer and no one gets drunk enough to fight. My mom's French braid gets longer every minute. Soon it will be long enough to toss to our cousins in Mexico, in LA, in Texas. There are Mexicans in DC who got the call. Salvadorans bringing pupusas. From the cactus, we get a steel mill. 
From the steel mill, we get more tortillas. The bad news is, the economists say there is zero economic value on our block. The good news is, we threw away the economics textbooks. We trade tortillas for haircuts, nopales for healthcare, poems for groceries, and if all you can do is eat the food, we ask that you wash your dishes. The donkeys bless everything we grow. From the tortillas, we get more desert, and from the desert, we get low riders. Cars bounce, our cousins and gangs get their bendiciones. The whole block is alive and not for sale. The Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo rescinded. It's happening on our block, and maybe it's happening on your block. The bad news is, the president sends the National Reserve. The good news is, they'll never find us. We pack everything into the trunk of a Toyota Corolla. When La Migra comes, their dogs bark and spit, but all they find is grains of sand. Thank you all so much, and welcome to PBHA's Alumni Weekend.